going to show you four ways to delete beads in Beadographer. So the first and simplest way is to select the Erase tool, which lets you get rid of individual beads. So I'm clicking on them. You can click them individually, or you can click and drag to very quickly erase beads like that. If you want to swap between the Draw tool and the Erase tool really quickly, you can select the Draw tool and you can see I'm working with pink. I'm going to put some pink on the canvas. Now, let's say I don't like that. I want to erase it. I'm going to hold down Shift. And you can see Shift is held down. Now it's let up. Shift is held down. Now it's let up. You can see that when I'm holding Shift down, it turns into the Erase tool. And when I let up, it turns back into the Draw tool. So that's really handy for going between them. Now let's say I've made some earrings. I want to just isolate the, the goat on his own so that I could beat him by himself or put him into a bracelet or something like that. I am going to select all the beads of a certain color. And so it's selecting all the pink. And just hit delete or backspace and it gets rid of them all at once. So that's the third way is to select beads and then delete a bunch at once. I could select them with the marquee tool like that. The fourth way might be most relevant for iPad users because there's no delete button. So you can see here if one of the selection tools is highlighted, the erase button shows up on the transform tools panel. So that's how you delete multiple beads at once if you're working on an iPad. See? So I'm going to get rid of the orange like that. And there we go. Now the the goat is by himself and I can use him in other projects.